The announcements for today are that the second collection is for the benefit of our sister parish in Honduras. Starting Friday, October 25th, Holy Family will be showing the first season of The Chosen in the Rectory Conference Room from 6.30 to 8. It's on a Friday night. And see the bulletin for more information. All of Father O'Driscoll's Bible study programs for the next two weeks will not be held, as he will be away. Classes resume the week of October 28th. Today's reading can be found at number 1010 in the Green Book. Today is the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We gather to pray for the grace to use wisely the gifts we have been given. The celebrant of this Mass is Father James O'Driscoll. The Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Mary Bernica. Good afternoon. Our opening song this afternoon can be found in the Green Book at number 567. God, we praise you, number 567. Please stand. We'll raise the Church adored, all creation shows your glory. Heaven and earth draw near your throne, singing, Holy, 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 Lord of hosts and God alone. To apostles, faithful prophets, saints who set their world ablaze. But it's one sun, known unheeded, join the growing song of grace. Your church on earth confesses one majestic trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God our hope eternally. Jesus Christ, the King of glory, everlasting Son of God, here who was your virgin mother on the lonely path you trod. By your cross is defeated, hell confronted face to face, heaven open. Justified by grace. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. This Mass is being celebrated for Mary, Bernica. Eternal rest grant to Mary, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you call us to follow you from the darkness of sin into the light of the new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life, true God and true man. You came to show us the way to the Father. You are the truth, and you are eternal life. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our one mediator with the Father. You died and rose for us. You ascended into heaven to intercede for us with your Father. 
You will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and to take your people home. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. The Gloria can be found in the front page of the green book or the black book, or for larger printed number 147. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The readings begin in the back tenth of the green book at number 1010 for the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time B. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to the scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her, nor did I liken any priceless gem to her. Because all gold in view of her is a little sand, and before her, Silver is to be accounted Myra. Beyond health and comeliness, I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together came to me in her company, and countless riches at her hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Make us glad for the days when you afflicted us, for the years when we saw our evil. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Let your word be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. And may the gracious care of the Lord, our God, be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. A reading from the letter of the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, indeed the word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him and asked him, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus answered him, why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. Peter began to say to him, we have given up everything and followed you. And Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, there is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake 
and for the sake of the gospel, who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. The gospel of the Lord. A man ran, ran up to Jesus and knelt before him in a sign of respect and veneration and called him a good teacher or good rabbi. What must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus shocks him and says, why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. Jesus isn't denying that he's God, but he's turning the question on to the asker. And he said, you know the commandments. He doesn't say, oh, just believe or have some religious experience or something like that or get baptized and confirmed or something, but just don't uh, cooperate with the grace of that. No, he says, keep the commandments. And he focuses on the second tablet of the commandments, the things that deal with other people, do to others as you would have them do to you. He doesn't get into the covets, but he sort of repeats, do not steal, by saying you shall not defraud, <coughs> which is a form, uh, it's sort of in between bear false witness and you shall not steal. So the man says to him, I, I've, I've done all these things. I've observed them for my use. So he's a, an observant person. He is a virtuous person. But he said, looking at him with love, that is, with this agape love, he calls him the way he called his apostles. Come, follow me. But he says, in particular, go sell all that you have and give to the poor. Now, it's saying that to the apostles, that's not much. But saying it to this man is. He said, you will have treasure in heaven. Come, follow me. And at that facement, his face fell. And it wasn't from a Botox failure. <laughs> he went away sad. Note, he didn't go away angrily muttering to himself, you know, how dare he say this. We got our money honestly and uh, uh, I don't care for this guy anymore. No, he doesn't say that. But he went away sad for he had many possessions. And that makes me think that maybe he did follow this call to a special vocation. Now, that's a special vocation to, uh, to adopt a voluntary poverty or community of goods and the like and to follow, follow him, which means obedience. We're all called to the latter. We're all called to follow Jesus, to obey him and to follow in his ways, which are not the ways of the world, especially our current culture of death. And so this man leaves. And Jesus says to his disciples, how hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of heaven. Now, the disciples are shocked because there is a sort of health and wealth gospel uh, heresy that they also had around there called the Deuteronomic theology. And it said, if you do good, you'll prosper, you'll uh, do well in life, uh, you'll be healthy, and uh, you'll become a movie star or something. But uh, that was not what Jesus was saying, preaching. He was saying, take up your cross and follow me. And it's usually the poor that he emphasizes who seem to have the spiritual advantages of not being tempted by wealth. But you can be poor and you can be as, as uh, greedy in your mind as someone who's a, a multi-billionaire. And so but he said, it's hard to enter the kingdom of God. Well, it's impossible. On our own terms, on our own power, it's impossible to embark in the reign of God and to enter heaven. But that's a gift. By God's grace, it is possible for anyone 
to come to conversion, to turn from grave sin, and to grow in sanctity, and to be pur ultimately to be purged as, we, as long as we persevere in grace and leave this life in the state of grace, to come to the fullness, that is, to union with God, unobstructed. And so he repeats again how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. And he uses the image, it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle. And some, there were some texts that say a cable, which is clo they're close words in, uh, sounding in Greek. But I think it's, I think camel is, because uh, Jesus, uh, that's part of Jesus' humor, I think. He, there are a lot of humorous things that we don't get because we don't speak Aramaic and we are not in that culture of 2,000 years ago. So and just imagine trying to get a camel through a needle. Just try to imagine to get a camel through anything. But anyway, he said, uh, then one for, who is rich to enter the kingdom of God, but <coughs> the one who is spiritually rich enters. Not the one who is possessed, absolutely possessed by his, his possession. <coughs> now rich people have gone heaven and have become great saints. Think of uh, two saints you probably haven't heard of, Saint Pinion and Saint Melanie the Younger. And they were, their, uh, their parents were dead. And they was an, uh, but they were heirs to this great fortune in lands, in uh, a treasure, all sorts of things in the Roman Empire that was falling apart. The Western Roman Empire was falling apart. But instead of living a life of just indulgence and ignoring the vast number of people who were poor and who were kidnapped by barbarians and pirates and uh, people who were slaves and all that, they freed all the slaves that they quote unquote owned. They, used, they lived frugally, uh, comfortably I'm sure, but uh, frugally and uh, they established hospices, hospitals, monasteries, convents. They ransomed captives. They uh, started schools, did all sorts of things like that. Even a, uh, a nursing home for uh, elderly nuns in the Holy Land <coughs> that inc included a hot bath, which something that was rather luxurious for these people, but that was what they needed. And so, so they, they didn't give up all their wealth. They used it. They used it uh, rightly. And it said, so the disciple says, well, who can be saved if the rich can't be? The people that claim to be blessed by God. And he said, for human beings, it is impossible, but not for God. It is by grace. So saving ourselves is impossible, but God's grace can save us. Cooperating with that grace, there's no such thing as irresistible grace, but grace is stronger than anything. God's power is stronger than anything. So uh, we may be stumbling along, but God's grace is there giving us that spiritual energy to keep on going. And Peter says, oh, We've given up everything and followed you. And he says, no one who has given up house and family, possessions, lands, all that sake, for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, will not receive a hundred times more in this life. So if we, uh, we have a spiritual family that uh, we can build on in this, in this life, uh, uh, even if, if we even if we're rejected by our families, which happened at that time, because those who followed Jesus often were some of their families considered them traitors to their heritage. But he promises this, but he also promises persecutions, which he lists among the blessings. Well, that's not at the top of my Santa list, I might add, but. Uh, we should expect that. We live in a great age of persecution. We, here in the West, it's just sort of beginning uh, with the you know, harassment and marginalization 
and uh, demonization, and, uh, but uh, it doesn't look good you know, uh, where it's, it's going in the future. But God is there with us, and he will pull us through. For human beings, it is impossible, but not for God. And let us stand before the world to proclaim our faith in the Nicene Creed, which can be found on the front page of the Green Book or the Black Book, and for larger printed number 148 in the Green Book. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, <laughs> then did into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord calls us, saying, come follow me, according to our particular callings, our particular situations. But we are all called to a ministry of prayer and intercession. So let us now pray, not only for our own needs and those of our families, but for the needs of the whole world and the whole church, especially those undergoing persecution throughout the world and those who are suffering greatly. <laughs> that the church embody the word of God and help all believers to know the saving power of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For our nation on Columbus Day, that God will direct minds and hearts of all who hold public office to pursue peace and common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of wisdom, so that we may make the right decision and know the right way to treat others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For solidarity in our global human family, that we may work together to protect those who are most vulnerable and most in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lack meaning, purpose, or proper direction in life, that Jesus will draw them close to him through his love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, heal the sick, particularly those who are in our book of prayer intentions, and especially Sherry McDougall, Judy Grunke, Liz Davis, Jeanette Cobb, Gabrielle Belcher, Katie Robertson, Fran Marr, Richard Russo, Diane McGrath, Mary E. Pitts, Linda Van Tassel, Michael Mari, Kevin Fitzpatrick. Lift their spirits, heal them, and give them peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus Christ, you are the salvation of all who die in you. Grant eternal rest to Barbara Bonfilio, 
and Mary Bernica, for whom this Mass is being offered, and to all our faithful departed, as well as those in our military who have died serving our, our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Incline your merciful ear to our prayers for all who suffer and are persecuted. O God of all compassion, enlighten our hearts by the grace of the Holy Spirit to follow the call of vocation according to your grace. And grant that those who are called to the religious life and to the priesthood may heed that call and persevere in that vocation and faithfully serve your church. And may all of us faithfully serve you above all and faithfully serve your church and love you with your own eternal charity. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And we can say the Hail Mary together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our song for the preparation of the gifts can be found in the green book at number 632, I Want to Walk as a Child of the Light, number 632. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. 
for having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Eucharistic prayer three. No, make that Eucharistic prayer one. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, the family and friends of Mary, Bernica, and parishioners, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, his spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help through Christ our Lord. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen through Christ our Lord. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as one who were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In a humble prayer, we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Remember also, O Lord, your servants, especially Mary Bernica, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through Christ our Lord. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you, 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 peace with you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul. The rich suffer and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. When the Lord appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Eternal rest grant to Mary Bernica, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her with your saints forever, for you are merciful. The body of Christ. The body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, Amen. the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ. Our song for communion can be found in the Green Book at number 487. Holy is his name, number 487. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. The Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. The body of Christ.
body of Christ. What has passed our lips is food, O oh Lord. We will possess in purity of heart. And what is given to us in time be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Our closing song is found in the Green Book at number 637, In Christ Alone, number 637. <coughs>
scorn by the ones he came to save. Till on that cross, as Jesus died, the love of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid. Here in the death of Christ I live. There in the ground his body lay. Light of the world by darkness stained. Then bursting forth in glorious day. Up from the grave he rose again. And as he fought in victory, since curse has lost its grip on me, for I am his and he is mine, bought with the precious of Christ I live.